Okay, we're good. All right, sweet. You got this. Yeah, I just I just pinged it. I just pinged the uh, finals players. Let them know that we're doing a little casting. Um, let's see who we have in chat. Oh, Dave Test is here. I think this is the first monthly that Dave has has played in in the cauldron. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Maybe one of the earlier ones, but pretty hyped to have Dave in the cauldron in you, the cauldron finals. We gotta have Dave in there. Yeah. I mean, what is StarCraft without Dave Testa? A top 100 player last season. Yeah. For the amount of games he played. Maurice Moss is here, Samuel's sidekick. Wizard, of course. And uh, yeah. Ron John, Bon Von, Big Cat, hitting the follow button. Thank you very much. I was going to say Maurice Moss, who kind of got too good for the Cauldron. Well, you know, until we until we become the Adam Ansem Star League, we go up to D1. Itchy Tommy and Colin also hanging out in the chat. Good to have you guys. Uh, Volnek, do you have party lead? So if we want to kick it off. All right, let's do it. You want to do Von Big Cat versus Poison? You are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tweet. Poison I've never seen before. Um, Von Big Cat. I think he beat me in Ghosts weekly. I think. Okay. Should I go ahead and start? Yeah, let's get it. Sorry, I'm, I'm just inhaling this burrito. No, That'll no, you're fine. good. Yeah, I just don't want to start too soon because I know you have to observe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we got it. We got it. Okay, so we got a PVZ to kick us off yeah. here. And in the top left-hand corner, our purple Protoss player, it is Poison. And in the bottom right from Team Gosu, the yellow Zerg player, Von Big Cat. I like that name, Von Big Cat. Yeah, they're hanging out in the chat as well. Good stuff. Kind of has an Aristocats feel to it. I don't know if you, if you liked that when you were a kid. I miss the Aristocrats. Uh, I was more into uh, uh, professional wrestling. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and, uh, you know. Maybe well, like Charlie Brown guy. Christmas, I guess, as well. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm Big Cat going pool first. What's that, 13 pool? 13 pool with a with a drone scooching over towards the potential third base location here of Poison. Yes, we do have new sub emotes. We do have new sub emotes. It's amazing. Yep, we're really putting in the value. Is the place to be. Hash block. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was kind of wondering, okay, there's the proxy <laughs> hatch. There it is. I love it. There it is. Okay, so how's Poison going to react to this? Makes it a little tough to wall, or rather kind of impossible. Probes are pulled. Just now started the zealot. Does does slap the Corona down on that zealot, and you know it's really important to get any kind of damage done on this proxy hatch while yeah. it's still uh, morphing because it doesn't have any armor. Whereas after it finishes, it does get that one armor boost. All right, so gets the cancel. I mean, you know, lost some uh, lost some mining time there, but I think well worth it, uh, especially with the hatch block on the other side, right? Yeah, it's gonna make something happen with these lanes, like seven workers down. Mm, yeah. This, uh, the second zealot okay. is uh, about seven years away. Yeah, I think if he gets this pylon, that's pretty well. Okay, cr chronoing out the zealot. The pylon cannot die here. Yeah. The pylon died. That, Ooh, that right might. Before the zealot <laughs> finishes. Oh my god. And Link's chewing face on these probes. Gotta get this pylon up. Gotta get this hatch out of the wall. So many problems right now for Poison. Dealing with it pretty well, considering. Yeah. Uh, but a hectic start to our game one. Kind of using this hatchery um, to the Protoss' advantage here for, for a minute. Like. <laughs> 
Yeah, it is It is sort of creating a funnel for the, the Lings just to kind of get wrecked by that Zealot. Third yeah. Zealot on the way now. If he had more Lings there, I would say just cancel and just surround. Okay, gets the Zealot finally. And there's, yeah, just, just stomping on the Ling button. Poison still doing all of this on one gateway. And built a Nexus. Maybe, uh, yeah, the Nexus, I mean, you do want to get it up as soon as you possibly can, but... Seems like a luxury in this situation. Yeah, at the same time, maybe not realizing just how well yeah. in Von Big Cat was. Game one. And goes to some Zerg cheese. GG's. I haven't seen the, ha the, the proxy hash in a while. It's as effective as always. Very annoying to play against. I hope it makes a comeback. Me. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's been there all along. I just haven't been seeing it. But just as a Zerg player, I just I, I like to see the uh, the proxy. We we get proxied so much. Right. Okay. I keep forgetting. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't see you busting out that strat nearly enough, Balnox. No, I, I, sh I should. And the Nidus play. I used to do the Nidus play. Go ahead and start uh, game two. Yeah, let's keep it going. All right, let's do it. Swarm host, also something I feel like we could see a lot more of, but we don't. Kind of a niche unit, I feel like. Yeah. In the, uh, in the Void Rain meta, hard to make those ground, ground pound armies work. But anyways, in the bottom right, down a game in this best of three, our purple Protoss, it is Poison. And in the upper left, the yellow Zerg player from Team Gosu, Von Big Cat. Double G and double T. So, are we going to see more cheese out of this Zerg? Is this just going to be... Is it going to be one of those? Where it's in and out, do the dirty work? Or does Poison have something up their sleeve? I was curious to see if Poison might, like... Oh, Forge. Forge! Absolutely got something up the sleeve. Yeah. Poison says, enough of this bullshit. You want to hit me with the proxy hatch? What do you know about cannon rushes? So. Hey, and Von Big Cat's playing standard so far. 16 hatch. This probe can evade the detection and get a pylon up. This could be huge. There is an overlord at the natural for Von Big Cat. And Probe already acting a little squirrely. I like this proxy location, though. Uh, it's actually on this map, uh, Parting uh, did a, uh, uh, a can rush from this exact position against Rogue. Uh, but Rogue had taken the third base, yeah. not the natural. So, see how this works out. It's a cancel. Oh my gosh, power going down right in the main base. Right in the face of Von Big Cat. Yeah. I don't usually see this this high ground. Okay. Super duper Cancel aggressive, right? right? Yeah. Usually if it's on the high ground, it's closer to the natural, not like in the main this deep. Kind of different. So deep! So deep yeah. in the main. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't know if this is going to work. Um... Yeah. Von Big Cat smartly pulling the drones right away to take care of these pylons. Here comes a second pylon. This this could work. But I guess it's without not like a cannon, super committed. Without a cannon Sorry, already I was gonna say without having yeah. a cannon already up. Seven days yeah. is going down at home, so they do want to transition away from this. Yeah, I mean lings are out, no cannons are up. I like you know, it's been distracting. There have been a bunch of drones chasing, you know, the probe around the main and stuff, but I don't know. It's pretty even after that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. The yeah, the, uh, the yeah. can at home. Uh, I think that's a good uh, game state awareness thing where they realize their forced, position. Yeah, forced out extra lings. I guess it worked out okay. Yeah, I think uh, poison's actually uh, fine at this point. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. They're gonna add on a second gas, and the nexus is finishing up. On the other side, ling speed is on the way. Warp gate starting up for poison. And it looks like we're going to go into something resembling a macro game. 
ya. Poison is going pretty quick for the gas here. Already taking it at the at the natural before it's too saturated at all. Stargate's gonna be the play from the Protoss. Yeah. Perfectly Von Von. sensible. Yeah, Von Vicat already has a couple scores up. Yeah, these scores are mad early, aren't they? Yeah, wow. yeah. Now he can't he doesn't have vision, but yeah, this is gonna be way early. Stargate halfway done. And that hurts when you're on this low of a worker count. Yeah, the protest is actually ahead in workers right now. Uh, I think this is a hard wall at the front, right? Needs to be a prism or perhaps a killed forge to get out of here. Yeah, maybe you could kill the cannon and get out. I don't know. Yeah, maybe uh, you could squeeze out probes if you kill the cannon. Yeah. Curious to see if Von Vickhead is going to take this third. This would be, uh, or even before this, would be the time to do it. If he is. Yeah, pull out the pro moves going into Overlord speed. Imagine. Okay. Yeah, Overlord speed in a lair. Uh, quick plus one from Poison and Charge behind it. And so we could see uh, Void Ray Charge Light here from the Protoss. Uh, and so far, okay, there is a layer coming up for Von Big Cat now. Yeah, if there's no third, he's gonna, he's gonna have to be aggressive. It looks like a Nidus, to be honest. Because uh, there's no, I mean, there's not even a Roach Warren. Okay, go in Baneling Ness. Okay. So I think, uh, yeah, Von Big Cat is sort of positioning themselves in such a way that they're going to have to find some damage here at some point. Okay, they are taking a third yeah. base. Oh, okay, okay. It really felt like a Nidus play to me. Wow. But, uh, it's, maybe it's not, not. It's not too late for it to be one, yeah. but maybe, uh, I mean, this Overlord did see that uh, Poison had good pylon placement spread out across the base to get vision yeah. in all those dark corners, so maybe they didn't feel as comfortable YOLOing Nidus Worms around. Oh, no, okay, that's a complete change of pace here. It's actually a Spire. Okay. And the Big Cat well, gets a good scout. Finds a Void yeah. Ray. Gets melted. I kind of feel like the thing with the Spire, PVZ, especially if they have a Stargate already, is uh, the Mutas have to be a surprise or the Phoenixes just destroy you. <laughs> right, but that being said, uh, Poison does not yeah. know about the Spire, so. This could still work. Sentry, Void Ray, Charge Lot. That's an interesting composition out. Can't wait to see how this goes. The Sentries puzzled me a little bit, but I'm not that good of a player, so who knows. Yeah, I think this is going to come down to how, how uh, these Banley connections are. Looking at the armies here. Ooh, There's just enough points. Hallucinated Archons. Ooh, I love I like it. That. Such a smart yeah. play. That's scary. They soak up so much damage for free. Okay, the Zealot's clumps. There are no queens here, though. A high energy queen dies. Ooh. And poison, Ooh. just like that, is gonna even up the series. One to one. Nice transition out of the uh, cannon rush. Yeah, uh, the cannon rush kind of fell on its face. Uh, poison yeah. recognized that and didn't skip a beat. Good transition. And ends up taking game two. All right, let's check out game number three. All right, all right. Oh, submarine. Hmm. Interesting that uh, the Protoss did not veto this map. I mean, sometimes I don't yeah. veto it just uh, just because I'm feeling spicy. I but... veto it myself, is there? Do you? Yeah. I don't want to get cannon rushed and so on, bunker rush. It's a tough early game. 
All right, let's see how these players do as we head into game three. All right. The series tied up one to one. In the top left, our purple Protoss player, it is Poison. And in the bottom right, the yellow Zerg from Team Gosu, Von Big Cat. Both these players are not afraid to be aggressive, we've seen so far, and it's paid off for both of them. Yep, and this would be the map uh, to show it off. Yep, it, it, in both games, the player that decided to proxy ended up winning the game. Yeah. Funny how that works. <laughs> Dave tests the school of science. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We're two for two tonight. Let's, let's see how that, how that keeps up. Okay, gateway opener. And now they're both going to play totally standard on submarine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 16 yeah. hatch. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> I mean, it is game three. Right. It's all, right. It's all on the line. The cauldron it's light. It's all like reverse psychology or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> standard gas and pool. My god, this burrito is so good. I cannot overstate it. <laughs> what kind oh, is Lord. it? We got ourselves a little uh, carne asada burrito. Black beans, nice. a little bit of avocado, oyster mushrooms in there. Making it nice. Yeah. Oh, there's a proxy file on. The Overlord is here, though. And it's, and it's also a fake, so... Yeah. This is to get the drones to pull. Uh, and uh, Big Cat respecting it to a point. Uh, four drones, I think, is like, you know, kind of the bare minimum if you're going to do this kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, sees the cancel, realizes there's no threat, and cracks the whip, gets the boys back to work. Oh, there's a rush warrant. Bomb Big Cat. So not so standard after all. Yeah. Handling speed. Okay. Now, I think Poison maybe mm. noticed no workers at the natural, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, the, I guess the four came down to try to cancel that pylon, but yeah, and he's yeah. not making any more drones. It does not appear. Twilight Council, too, is the tech choice. Uh, cause it so it looks like Poison wants to go into either a Glaives or a Charge play here. And uh, having that uh, first tech building not produce anything, uh, it just produces upgrades, of course, uh, can hurt when the Zerg is stomping on the Roach Key. Yeah. Uh, shield battery and some gateways here. Rubox facility, though, that could be, Robo, that could be okay. huge. Yeah. Especially uh, if Poison gets to spot a roach and like realizes, like right now, if they saw those roaches spawning. Yeah, the adept's there. To stalk her out back at home. Nothing else in production yet, though, actually. Yeah. Getting glaives. Okay, so maybe it didn't see the roaches popping. Uh, which would be such a yeah, near I guess miss. Not. Well, such a near okay. miss. Now um, two shield batteries go down. Okay. They're just starting and the links are at the front door. Yeah, Zerg is already here. We're we gonna see a Chrono to Mortal. We need to pull the workers. Oh no! Now. Oh. Oh no! Those greasy, slippery links get through the wall, oh, depower man. everything. And it's Narcosis pile up. And it's over. Von Big Cat takes a 2-1. Wow. to one. So That was, was a quick 2-1. Dirty, greasy link. Best of three went the distance in about 14 minutes. <laughs> you, you know, that's what we're here for. These are the games yeah. I want to cast. These are the games I want to watch. Good games from both players there. Good games. Yeah, I like that series.
All right, so I heard you say we have a we have a Mitchy Tommy. Yeah, series I was in there. just eyeballing that one. Yeah, um, against the rainforest. I think it's let's, time. Let's do it. I think it's time. Rainforest uh, played in the Cauldron back in the day, and then he's been playing in the weeklies recently. I saw. Getting back into it, like to see it. Oh man, yeah. that's right, it's ZVZ. ZVZ. I, I feel like this is Michi Tommy's specialty. ZVZ. Well, that last that last matchup, I think, has us primed and ready for some ZVZ action. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's get it. Okay, I gotta put this burrito down. We did it. We did it. <laughs> All right, so we got another best of three for you guys here. Uh, ZBZ, and in the top left corner, our blue Zerg player. It is Rainforest. And in the bottom right, the yellow Zerg player, the Titty Boy himself. The it's Titty me. Boy! <laughs> Michi Tommy! In the parking lot. Yo, uh, he, he is running StarCraft off a car battery. This guy. You know, we're talking, we're talking money, we're talking notoriety, Michitami. Absolute legend. Fresh out of the planet sitting in the shower. Well, first for, for, for uh, Michitami. Classic, classic. And a hatch first from Rainforest. Will Mitchy Lingfoot? Will he Bane Bust? Will he Roach Ravenger all in? These are the types of plays we've seen out of this man before. And we might see them huh? again. Can Rainforest fight back? Yeah, based on the gas timing, I think this is Roche's, but maybe I'm... Okay, he's making six links, but... Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Might be a link flood. It, it, it... Well, there's no speed, though, right? So... I guess yeah, maybe he doesn't have, doesn't have the gas yeah. quite yet. Sometimes if it's a later gas, people people go Roche's, but um, might just be not rushing the, the link speed quite as much, but okay, yeah, he does start it. And Rainforest Fine making crawling. queens and a spine. Okay, so I guess that Overlord saw the move out, right? Spine's down here at the natural. Links oh, are gonna... Get it's gonna get nibbled to death, Ooh. yeah. Did not cancel that one. Here come the drones. Good surround with the drones. Ooh. Okay. Good hold. Not too bad. Um, Rainforest is actually now behind in workers. I mean, he did make two spine crawlers, you know. I mean, th this did. Well, okay, so. Michi is. No, he's turning around with those links. <laughs> and now he's going back. Yeah, Mitchy not totally here. sure if he wants to yeah. wait, uh, maybe for the Baneling Nest to finish. Um, you know, that uh, that looked scarier than maybe it actually was. Rainforest uh, dealt with uh, those first six slings pretty, uh, pretty uh, swiftly there. Yeah, probably did not need to make the spine crawlers, but this is a Baneling bus coming, it'll be useful. Tits McGee now with a ton of gas in the bank. Yeah, that's true. If, uh, maybe for a handful of Banes. Yeah. Lair is on the way for his opponent, Rainforest. And here comes some more OCAP. Well. Hmm. It all depends on the Bane hits, right? Yeah. They look pretty good. Yeah, looks pretty good. I don't know, there's gonna be barely enough links here to take out the spine and then. 
Oh. 12 more lings in production. Mitchie's stepping on the gas. Okay, I'll get a few drones here. Reinforce trying to get this wall up to prevent the reinforcements from getting back in. And if he can get this roach horn out, even just a couple of roaches, he stands a chance. And yeah, this wall he... will buy him some time. Yeah, the problem here is like, if you vainly bust through this evil chamber or something, do you have enough wings to follow up? Right. Or do you just hold back with the banes? Yeah. Again, he's forcing a lot of buildings to be made here. Oh. Mm, Bane's got Good. use on uh, broodlings there. Two Banes can take out a bunch of workers here. Ooh, Mitchie! Uh, yeah, okay, gets, a, a gets, a, gets a couple. Yeah. Is this a wall? It is a wall. Roach Horn under fire here. Three Roaches in production. Rainforest trying to hang on from the onslaught. No Roach Horn. Yeah, the Roach Horn goes down. He only has three on the way. 20 more Lings in production from the Tits Man himself. Okay, yeah, like, I think it... What do you even do here? Do you try to remake the Roach Warren? He is, he's got it coming in, in, in the main, but I mean, right now the front door is wide open. Yes, Frank, indeed it is. Yeah, he's, he's kind of dead at this point. Um, it, it looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> GG. That's what you, yeah. Nothing about to do now. And then she takes game one. Yo, I love the Sam Spence, but occasionally it, like, segues into some extremely whack shit. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It was like a 70s white boy ballad. Oof, something, yeah. something about beaches. What the hell is this? I'm trying. We're going to <laughs> war! <laughs> Got game two of a ZVZ coming up for you guys. Rainforest versus Tits McGee. T tits up. One to zero in this best of three. He's the beach voice. You think you think Mitchie likes the beach? He seems more of like a man cave, Budweiser. Yeah. You know, seven dogs kind of guy. In the top right, our blue Zerg player. Down a map, it's Rainforest. And in the bottom left, the yellow Zerg player from Team Guns N' Roaches, Tits McGee. Nice. That's it, boy. Wizard asking, how can you have a man cave in the Target parking lot? Well, it's your, it's your mom's car. It's the family Buick. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're man enough, you make your man cave anywhere. Right, the man cave goes with you. Yeah. You know, just, just no emotion, just sports, crispy boys, meat, trucks, mustard, all those things. Can you fit a truck in, in your man cave, Flappy? Um, I live in a <laughs> tiny apartment in New York, so no. I see, I see. I, uh, I've, I don't even have my base amp here because it takes up too much space. Now that's a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm d depriving the world of my base lines. Imagine. <laughs> where's, where's Dave Testa? Is he in the chat? Imagine, Dave. Probably Testa laying down some base lines himself right now. <laughs> Testa sent me a photo of him, uh, I think in his like late 20s. I have to show it to you, it's amazing. The baby I would testa. like to check that out. Baby Testa. I'd love to check that out, yeah. The living legend. Alright, so Tits has uh, a drone over here. Is he going to build a spine crawler on the edge? He's going to build a spore. It's a spore crawler. This is that move. Mitchie swears oh by this move. Oh my god. It's Unbelievable. Savage. Right, force. 
checking the format. Is he gonna pop in time? Yeah, this is his move. But is it gonna kill it? Yeah, they do so much damage. Oh my god. Sports do so much damage. That's crazy. And can you, okay. That's filthy. Can you, can you uproot it and run it back home? <laughs> I think that's exactly what he's gonna do! <laughs> Mitchie! Well, the links. I, um, <laughs> the spine the king. Epic. He's gonna put it down the natural. <laughs> oh my god. Forces of drone pool. Oh, because, okay, it can't kill this next overlord. Wow. He's trying to get this overlord. Oh my. Wait, if he gets it, if he no gets way. it, Mitchie's a genius. That's amazing. That's just, Three, I, I, I would GG right there. 3,000 IQ play. And here comes would, the Ling Flood. Speed's about to finish. Just... There's no wall. Oh, Rainforest completely distracted. He's trying to get a lair. Oh, wow. It's, it's the psychological damage here, you know? I would be devastated <laughs> emotionally from that. Can't measure that. Oh, it gets us around the queen, too, on the ramp. This is not good. Rainforest is still making drones. This is not looking good. That spore crawler. Mitchie won this yeah. game with a spore crawler. <laughs> There's no coming back. At three minutes into the game. <laughs> I feel like we've seen it. I, I've only seen him attempt it. I have not seen it pan out quite like that. It's, it's beautiful to watch. I have to say. What do you even do here? Besides type GG. I guess he wants to maybe fight down by the spine crawler? He's still even on workers, I will say that. Bitchy has 14 times the army. Yeah. The drones doing a good job body blocking for that spine, keeping it alive, actually. That yeah. was pretty cool. And that's definitely enough damage now he's coming back to. Again, the emotional damage cannot be understated. Mitchy Tommy's gonna take it 2-0. I mean, I'd be so demoralized, you, you know. I mean, you'd just be forgetting the macro, just sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? You, you know? Like, right. right. Uh, there's no way I could just like, tri like, oh, okay, you know. On to the next one. <laughs> like, no, I have to uninstall. Yeah. Wow. So we're two, we're through. Two best of threes, and we have been live for about a half hour. Amazing. That was amazing. Uh, yeah. That was good. That was good play. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Tagged once versus Veils. They played tonight. Um, or Dreamatos versus Nice Gamer. I don't I actually. Don't, I forget the races for. Let's see, ta that's a TVP. Or. Let's do, the, let's do the TVP, and okay. let's save the Tag and Veils for, for last, because that should be a really good matchup. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, so, Nice Gamer versus Dreamatos. And, you know what, I need to double check which one was first and which one was second. One and second, I gotta fix, sorry. I got to fix this playlist, because it keeps, okay. keeps going to weird places. I didn't realize these weren't labeled that way. <laughs> Uh, I got to play uh, tagged once uh, in Ghost Tournament recently. Oh, Shu Yi rating with a colossal rate of 55 people. Welcome, everybody. Oh, wow. Awesome. Uh, Welcome. That rules. Um, thank you so much. I got to play uh, tagged in uh, Ghost Tourney earlier this week. And uh, they're a very strong Zerg player. Um, so I'll be interested to see how Veils deals with that. Uh, in the games that I was playing against tagged, um, every game, it was uh, creep spread up to my third base. Like, you know, seven <laughs> minutes deep. I was just like, wait, what? I can't do anything? Just yeah. creep everywhere? It was a really impressive play. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go by the, the timestamps on these, so I'm pretty sure we have them in order. But... Oh, God. Taking a little bit of a risk here for the five shot. <laughs> well, you know what? But I think it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. 
Let's hop into it. A TVP on Romantic side, round one, the Cauldron season finals. All right, here we go. Let's do it. You'll tell me out. Uh... Oh, okay, go ahead. Sorry. No, with the, the TVP. Go, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, Terran versus Burtas, I feel like, is in a weird spot right now because uh, parting kind of single handedly up into the meta at, uh, at GSL. Or at, uh, all right, I am, rather. Anyways, our orange Terran player in the top left hand corner. It's Nice Gamer. And in the bottom right-hand corner, the green Protoss player, Dreamatos. Not re no, no clan tag for Dreamatos. Independent. We need to get them in Legion. Free Asian. Yeah, we do. We need to get it's, everybody in Legion. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> imagine not being in Legion. What would you even do with I, your evenings and weekends? I refuse to imagine that. Marijuana can only take you so far. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is true. Oh snap, Pilly Pilly, dropping a colossal 58 person raid on the stream. Thank you so much, Pilly. Thank you. I hope you did good out there, man. Always, always rooting for Pilly. Someone give that man a sub because uh, he keeps talking about my emotes. You gotta get, <laughs> you gotta get Pilly the rock emote. Can't stop talking about those emotes. Can't stop talking about these emotes. I, I uploaded new new emotes, so. Hey. You're getting a lot of Love value. It. Oh yeah. Lux is a Twitch. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so what's going on in this game here? What is happening? Are we doing? Okay, this is not. Uh, we we're just talking about how uh, parting kind of changed uh, uh, the meta a little bit. Right. Uh, or at least in his own personal world, it's pretty hard to play like him. So. Uh, I know I, I I tried that 17 Nexus build a couple times on ladder and I just got crushed so hard, like I I just didn't know what I was doing. Complete fumble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dave Testa gifted a tier one sub to Pilly Pilly. Amazing guys, we have come full circle. Love you, Dave. Thank you so much, Dave Testa. You legend. I like Dave's uh, artwork. Making yeah, those, making those it, portraits recently. His, his doodles are getting really good. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it when they're getting uh, wackier. Like, he's got that little character that looks like a gremlin. It's like, I eat socks. I think that's great. Uh, I saw one where he has what looks like a mallard with uh, with uh, ivy growing out of its head. Yeah. Uh, I, genius. Good work. This is what we need more of. It's getting sophisticated. He's getting, he's getting real good Photoshop skills. Thank you so much again, uh, Dave Test. All right, I like so Reaper's... that stalker. Yep, stalker immediately finds the Reaper. I try to do that with wings and uh, ZVT as much as I can. Especially if you don't, uh, you know, if there's not a wall here. Interesting. This is a this is a Robo opener uh, from Dreamatos. Uh, I've been playing this style more, and uh, I like it. We'll see if they go straight into uh, Robotics Bay. There might be a Colossus play here. Now he gets the Reaper too. So no more scouting for Terran. Yeah, it's a nice little early win. Just the SCV here, checking the third. Double Observer first out of the Robo Facility. Okay. That's like at the same time safe and dangerous. Yeah, because I was curious to see what this, you know, go ahead and make the Immortal or Good. Yeah, I was gonna say, there is a, a, a Twilight Council coming up uh, behind this. I was kind of expecting a uh, Robotics Bay. So yeah. this might, this could go into like a Blink Stalker play. On the other oh, side, we do. Ooh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so it'll be just a War Prism. And then, yeah. <laughs> it could just be a War Prism and Dark Templar, and then Terran types 2Gs. There is only one yeah. gateway right Here now. Here come three more. Okay. Oh, and a command center, a third CC for Nice Gamer. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. He's also pretty good about using up his mules. Yeah. That could become a prob. 
charge is also going to be behind this. Warp Prism being Chrono boosted out. Yeah, it's really going to come down to it, you know, does he burn this, uh, this next, 50, you know, in 15 energy in the main, he'll have he'll have 50. Yeah. Does he use that or does he save it? So I think Banking that's the that, right one. Banking that energy is going to be huge. At the same time, there's yeah. Medivac uh, with seven Marines coming across the map. Let's take a quick look at the upgrades. There's no stim pack just yet. Or it's not even in production, I don't think. Uh, nope, but there are these Marines. This Observer is going to be pretty clutch at spotting this. At the same time, the Prism's moving across the map. So Terran definitely sees the Dark Trine now. Man, this shield battery is very yeah. clutch. That drop's not going to get a whole lot done. At the same time, DT's warping into the main of Nice Gamer. Does have at least one scan, two scans two available. Scan. Yep. Ooh, seven SUVs already, though. Wow. Yeah. And the economy taking a death scythe to the throat here. 11 SCVs go down. There's still two DTs in the main taking out a tech lab. Hmm. Oh, this tank wide open. No. Oh. But he runs by it. There he goes. Okay. Still gets the tank anyway. More DTs posturing outside of the scan radius. Oh, double scans there. Whoop. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Picking up this prism would be pretty huge here for Nice Gamer if they can get it. Not quite. Oh, prism will escape. And look at this, calling down a mule right away. I feel like that's a little gutsy. Yeah. It, did it save does a have three orbitals. It does have three orbitals. It did save a handful of SCVs. They're down here by the natural, but they're not quite. They're kind of just uh, like penguins, just huddled together for warmth. Scared of the... Icy cold DTs. They yeah, say when a DT comes close to you, you get shivers. I know I do. It's like when you look in the mirror and you say Volnox three times and then a swarm host appears. <laughs> it's the same thing. Terran's putting together a bit of a tank push here. Third base coming down yeah. for Dreamathos. Dreamathos definitely in the driver's seat here. Um, Thermal Lance on the way. Yep, LD. Gonna... Yeah. Could be good along with plus one. Stim is starting up for Terran. Uh, they're going to need Stim and Marauders if uh, if Colossus are on the field when this happens. The thing about uh, going Colossus when you already have Archon tech is, uh, you know, Archons and Colossus kind of do the same thing. They kill a lot of light units. Yeah. Um, I guess Archons are even actually better against Marauders. But not a lot of Marauders in play. Just a uh, Marine tank coming across. Or nice gamer. Picking out this third base would be pretty huge if they can manage it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like German Souls has a great army composition against this push on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Charge lot, Immortal. Charge lot, yeah. A healthy uh, bit of shield batteries here at the third. Even mining this out, which almost gives Terran another attack path here. And kind of a nasty spot to put the tanks. Yeah. But doing uh, Terran a bit of a favor. But the shield batteries. Oh, and now they're in a corner! There's just so much Protoss here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is where Dream and Toast should just go attack, I think. <laughs> yeah, i um, going to attack up into Blink, get plus two weapons. The thing about this, though, is like, uh, you know, on paper, Dream and Toast doesn't have to attack at all. They just defended an attack. If anything, they could expand and just keep growing uh, and widen the lead, right? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely like uh, what Day 9 would say. One thing I would say, though, is that um, that does, like, give you an opportunity to lose later. <laughs> if you have a tremendous advantage now, you might just want to take it. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. And Nice Gamer uh, is realizing the position they're in. They want to catch back up. They're going to throw down that fourth CC on location. 
at the 12 o'clock position. Got some shelves, combat shields finishing up for Terran. And Dreamatos might smell a little blood in the water here. 74 army supply to 52. Yeah. Two Colossus. I, I like Nice Gamer taking the, the fourth, actually. I think that's what you kind of need to do. You need to be greedy or something to, to get back into it. I agree. I like the Supply Depot wall at the third base there, too. Yeah. That's, that's good positioning. Yeah. Um, I'm always so bad about placing my buildings. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so Terran is switching into Marauders. I also think that's a good call. How many Immortals are here? Yeah. Two Immortals. Um, Two Immortals. What's the what's going to be the buffer for all these charge lots, though? I mean, there's a couple Two. of Widow Mines. Yeah. Uh, and Dream is going to send a pair of DTs up to the north side. I feel like Dreamatos waited longer, I, I mean, and now starting to float a little bit here. 1500, 1500. Oh. Budo Mines Burrow. You're right, there's a lot of lot of Marauders there now. Yeah. Marauders do tend to crush Protoss. Yeah. 14 Marauders all of a sudden. Oh, but 10 SCVs dying. The DTs again! A little bonus with that scan. Manages to pick up that observer. It's been hanging out most of the game. But the supplies tell a story here. 163 to 120. Yeah. Jimato's going to circle up to the north side. So this is a planetary fortress. It's a nice uh, little multi frog. Planetary goes down. 22 yeah. SCVs have fallen. We're back down to 37 workers. And uh, maybe even pull the boys at this point. Yeah, yeah. Take the mines with you. Four medevacs with this army. Two Vikings, not gonna be quite enough to deal with these Colossus. I mean, we'll see. And there's there's not a lot that shoot that shoots up actually for the Protoss. Well, there's a, there's a decent amount of stalkers here. Yeah, there's a back. handful of stalkers in there. Yeah. Another DT. Man, always being annoying. Good multi prong here from Dreamatos. Bio stims in. And although they do get some damage, it costs them. Yeah. The majority of the army should be helpful here. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. GG. Andrematos taking game one. Jeez. And again, nice transition out of the. Again, we saw the aggressive, cheesier player open up an advantage and kind of run with it. That's been the theme of tonight so far. Okay. So, uh, next game is on Oxide. All right. Ready when you are, boss? All right, let's do it. Yeah, I just realized they sent me guacamole, but they didn't send the chips. What a disaster. What the hell? Am I just going to eat? You. Am I going to eat guacamole with my bare hands while casting StarCraft? Maybe. In the... Oh, boy. Doing a worker pull. It's nice gamer. <laughs> oh, boy. And uh, in, the, in the top right, Streamatos up one to nothing in this best of three. Okay, and, <laughs> and in the bottom left, the orange Terran player, nice gamer. Does, does this does this work? I got like... so excited, I screwed up the scores. Who cares? Uh, I don't. All right. I, I don't know. SCVs have five more hit points. Uh, and can repair each other. Although there's no minerals. Uh, probes have shields. 
see the reaction here. Bit of a yellow move here. Going for the Nexus. The Nexus is an odd choice. Okay. I mean, every single probe he manages to kill here is actually huge. And he needs to stay on top of it because they do regenerate shield. True. Um, it's a better surround than the Nexus so far. Yeah. And um, using the mineral walk to get good surrounds too, better positioning. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> GG. I saw how short it was, and like I really had to wonder. Was there a third game, and we just screwed it up? Uh, no. I think that's just a 2-0. Oh, that was a 2-0. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He just. <laughs> I guess nice gamer one. We'll take well. A quick one back. <laughs> uh, cool. Good game, well played. <laughs> All right, right so on tag the, one versus right on the edge of the meta there. <laughs> on the edge is right. Okay, so a little little, little ZVZ here <laughs> at the end. Okay. I feel like we've been building up to this. To a CDC, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. It's all been it's all been pointing to this. Alright, let's do it. Tag yep. once versus nails. Oh, platinum hero team kill. Alright. Spawning in the top left-hand corner in this best of three match in the cauldron. It is our red Zerg player tagged once. And in the bottom right-hand corner, he's making excuses already. It's our uh, blue Zerg, Veils. Veils! Is in the building and in the chat. <laughs> Good to see you, bud. Veils nah, recently. <laughs> nah, got... huh? I don't know what that says. Played. I don't know. You played like every night. I don't know what the. <laughs> maybe that was EU server? Maybe, EU server every night, maybe. Alright. Okay, well. Is this a little bit of a distraction technique by Vales going pool first? Yep, chatting up the opponent. Doing the, the mind, mind games and the zone's teammate. Straight from the get go. What a scumbag. Well, they do play Zerg. That's true. What do you expect? For some reason, I thought uh, Vales was a Terran player. Vales, I think, like, switching it up for this. I'm not sure. That, I don't think Zerg is his main. Gotcha. All right. I forget what his main is, though. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was Terran. I, definitely I got think you wrecked, might be right. I definitely got wrecked by Vales' as Terran before. Uh, no slouch. No slouch, this guy. Couple of uh, exploratory lings jogging across the map. I got their track suits, gold chains, and cigarettes. They're not sprinting. <laughs> you know, ah, say hi to your wife for me. Is they're they... intimidating presence. Yeah. Well, it's because they're they're mobbed up. They're part yeah. of the hive mind. <laughs> you mess with one, you mess with them all. You know what I'm saying? Here they come. They roll deep. Tagged once, pulling more. Uh, actually, a good number of drones down to take care of this. Ooh, almost gets us around. A little bit of this micro there, like hold position or something. Links being kicking in, uh, or starting up rather, for both players. Good delaying here by tags so far. Yeah, not really taking uh, damage from that. I mean, I guess maybe just yeah. lost mining time. And losing it here, a little bit of control group. But even that's still, right. I think that's totally fine. Yeah, keeping the worker lead. Yeah, good, good hold. And uh, attack even gonna come out here and get a little bit more of an army advantage with the good uh, surround on those couple of wings yeah. there. 
that was not like an all-in or anything, but that was definitely a good defense. I think that's meant that's meant to do some economic damage and but, kind of but, come back. But are we going towards an all-in here? As the yeah, uh, Linky yeah. is being stomped by Veils right now. Bailey Ness on the way as well. Yeah. Will the queen survive? We need some help. Ooh. Okay. Now we're in some danger. So we're gonna have Bane Wings behind us. Ling is getting into the main. Another queen pops just in time there, though. Oh. But now there's Good. Banes in the equation. Dagged making their own Banes. At the top of the ramp. Good wall for the queens, but losing this hatchery is pain. Hatchery goes down! Ooh, a nice Baneling hit here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's blocked out. No! Sneak the Bane! <laughs> oh, no. Veils with the LOL in the chat. Veils. Veils. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Nibbling away at those poor little defenseless larvae. Yeah, well, that really turned on a dime. Um, good defense for a while. <laughs> yeah, but that uh, Veils is going uh, all the way in. Yeah. The two queens on the ramp is pretty annoying. Especially with Bane's behind it. Roachhorn is in the mail. Protect once, but can they survive long enough to get it? Uh. Well. Let one of the Banes throw! Oh, 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 there it is! Oh. Yolo into this. <laughs> Tagged once is trying to expand Ooh. right now? Interesting. I guess maybe they have to. Bane Pain Train going into the main. Will they connect? Oh. Well, if they connect enough. Oh. oh. Okay. These players did not play on WCS Game Heart, but GG! <laughs> Veils. It's a lot to ask for everyone to play on WCS Game Heart, you know? <laughs> yeah, you gotta re like remember to do it. <laughs> Good game. These are the ZVZs we won. 6.46, that might have been the longest game yet today. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Tag was handling that. I really thought, um, I, and I think just maybe like, you know, spine crawler, something, it, it, just a little more, because it, it really snowballs. It really does, and uh, yeah, I mean, you think you're playing some semblance of uh, a normal game, and then it's yeah. Bane Links. So, it's rough. crazy how like. Just a few more lings might help you like save that queen that died, and then like the whole thing just kind of like goes a different way if you just have a little more right when you need it. But right, that's how it goes. That is how she goes in the top left corner. <laughs> it's Red Zerg. It's tagged once. And in the bottom right hand corner, the blue Zerg player Veils. Both from Platinum Heroes. If they're not if they're not platinum players, shouldn't they be looking for a new team as well? They should probably be joining Team Legion. That's what I www.teamlegion.net. <laughs> uh, it just takes you to Dave Testa's MySpace page. Uh, you he's got immediately set as your homepage. Yeah, and as uh, put him in your top eight. Um, top one through eight. Yeah, yeah, and all of them. Just Dave Testa eight Dave times. Test. Yep. Uh, he embedded some Primus to play on the page when you when you uh, when you click on it. It's great. Well, of course, it did. good. I look at it every day. Pool first again here from Veils. Tact one's playing a little more uh, defensively or aggressively. Not sure, but also pool first.
They also look like a fan of the pool first. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Noted. Yeah. <laughs> Bales um, is a cheeky bastard. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Maybe it's a little map dependent. I have, have to see. I, um, Romanticide is, I think, a, a, definitely a decent map for uh, a build like this, where like you're going to pressure the hatch first. And then probably just all in behind it. You don't have to all in behind it, I don't think, though. There's builds besides just all inning? Actually, I think, oddly, I think if you do the 12 pull, it's not an all-in. I don't, I, I don't do it myself. It's weird. It's, it's weird. <laughs> well, I know nothing about Zerg build orders, so. Yeah. Didn't tell you. <laughs> uh, this is why we need a uh, wizard every time. Yeah, Vail's, we do. Vale's going to come up nibble with a pair of lings. There's four here to answer. Ling speed on the way for tagged, a little bit behind, but also on the way for Veils. But it's the him mining the gas is what makes me think that. Him, well, now he's dropping the Bane Ling Ness, so. Ooh. This is the same build. Can tagged once, hold on! I'm making plenty of Zerglings. Oh, I think I saw someone making drones at some point there. Yeah. Well, I got a mistake. There's a sneaked in drone. I like those stray swarm posts that get made. Oh, Bales does not have link speed. Yeah, tag does. Skirmish in the middle of the map here. Ling's trickling in from both sides. Yeah, really nice for tag. And a good cleanup there for our red Zerg. Yeah, Vales is going to need all the, these four banelings he has morphing is like the, the only thing keeping him from losing right here. Ooh! Ooh! Gonna oh. dive on him? Oh, oh it's so risky! Oh, oh you lose <laughs> everything! What the fuck? LOL! Whoa. Oh boy. What happened exactly? <laughs> there was a second of hesitation? to attack the Baneling eggs. <laughs> and, that was a uh, super ball with nice. Couple Banes here for Tagged as well. Trying to get a wall up, trying to get a Roach Warren started. But there's Banes from Veils as well. Oh. God help us all. More Banes morphing on the ramp. Queen's coming in to wall off this, uh, I like this wall. the natural base. Ooh, just before they, those baits. Oh! Oh. Another colossal Bane hit. Pieces of Zergling just thrown across the map in a bloody soup. Man. Veils is, doing, and Veils is droning pretty hard behind this now, actually. Gets the creep tumor. Gets to surround the queens, but gets pushed away. Okay, yeah, tags may not realize it, but uh, there needs to be a counterattack here. <laughs> yeah, Lair uh, starting up for Veils, Roachhorn completing. And Tag just slamming the drum key, trying to get economically back into this game. There's 36 workers to 25 in favor of Veils. I really think Tags could have uh ran those lanes over into this third area and launched a counterattack there. I mean, it is, it's pretty wide open. It's, it's natural. Yeah, yeah. True, true. It's just going to send out a few lanes to kind of scout. Okay, just get into the... Can you guys see the Roach Warren? You see all those drones? Thank you for follow Clovis Kid. 
And tagged once, uh, once again, pushed back. Oh, Vales hit the follow button too, amazing. Thanks, Vales. Hey, thanks, Vales. Thanks, Clovis. So how is Tagged going to get out of this? Uh, yeah, Bales is making a lot of roaches right now. I thought maybe Tag might take, you know, after you scout and see that, you know, maybe take a third. Oh, but here comes Vales. Plus one, plus one's only halfway done. Tagged needs units. Needs the units. Yeah. And Speed is actually just starting for Vales. This is a little awkward of a move out. We'll see if he's committed here, though. Yeah, is he gonna wait for them uppity grades, or just just go anyway? You spend that much money on him, that's you know. We got there, three hundred and fifty. Okay, gas. now Tag has to realize that trouble. Trying to go into a spire, but it's a long ways away. These banes are yeah. kind of useless against a roach heavy army like this. Queen gets gunned down at the front. The second queen really low, and the roaches just kind of bathe in that Bane juice. Doesn't really bother them. <laughs> little bit of a split. Little bit. Enough of a split. And yeah, okay, so that I guess that was that was the time as well. So while you have unit advantage. Yeah. Even if the Spire completes, there's only enough here to make at best five mutas. Yeah. And tagged once. In a world of pain. Yeah, gonna go down 0-2 here to the to the teammate, unless an absolute miracle happens. But uh, not many drones left. We don't believe in miracles here at the Cauldron. <laughs> uh, everything is predetermined. Yeah, pretty nihilistic <laughs> around here. Yeah, Spinecrawler's trying to help, but uh, there's a lot of roaches. Five mutas coming out. GG is called, Vales takes a 2-0. Well, that was, uh, that was so quick. We, I, I know, um, maybe we can grab, uh, I think Benefit and Coke just finished their matches. Ooh, yeah, I mean, I, I, that, we've barely, I feel like we just, yeah, that was, that was quick as hell. Yeah. Let's see, let me, let me, let me grab that real quick. GG's both tagged ones and veils. Okay, just messaging benefit. I know that he's uh, he just messaged me like a couple minutes ago, so he should be around. They, I guess they just finished. Okay, cool. If I uh, if I display the bracket that you pinned in the channel, is that going yeah. to uh, uh, give away anything or, or be bad in any way? Uh, I don't know if he updated. He might have updated the score from the game they just played already, and then okay. that would spoil it. All right, <laughs> so me, no. Let me check though. Let's, I'll no, check. no, I'll no. Check. We we just we just won't do it. It's fine. One person asked, you know, like, is there a bracket? Yes. There is a bracket, and it does have the score of the game that they just played on there. Okay. Okay, he's sending them to me right now. Okay, cool. I'm going to grab a beverage. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay. Hey, thanks to everyone for watching. This is stage one. Round one, the Cauldron season finals, and uh, I tell you, I'm, I'm devastated they didn't send chips with this guacamole. Uh, my options are oh, to uh, I have baby carrots, so I could I could dip carrots in guac, or I could just eat it with a fork. <laughs> it, you know, it's not gonna <laughs> last. That's that's uh, yeah, a rock, between a rock and a hard place. Maybe I, I might have to go get some Doritos after this or something. <laughs> yeah. Eat them with your, with your fingies.
Yeah, the format, Swiss, Swiss format. We dig it around here. <laughs> okay, I have those replays. Let me just go and rename them. Awesome, cool. So we got another series. Good stuff. Maybe this would be a good time to like share the Cauldron Discord in the chat, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's, yeah. Do, let's do that. Let's do that real yeah. quick. If you guys want to be involved, and you're a Diamond player, and you're like, hey, I want to play in some tournaments. I want some, I want some, uh, some cred in the StarCraft scene. Do join the Cauldron Discord. We do uh, bi-weekly tournaments and a monthly. If you want cred, this is the place to get it. Yeah, if you want, uh, not like credits, like money. No, but uh, none of that. Credibility, like, I put a lot of time into this game, and I got to, you know, Diamond League. And I demand and I, respect. And I, you know, I see these hot shots like Michitami and Vales walking around, spitting on the sidewalk like they own the place. And it pisses me off. It pisses me off, too. So do join Cauldron. Do you join Do Team something Legion? About it. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all set. Benefit versus Coke, game number All right. one. All right, let me get uh, back into the thing. Oh my bad. Take your time. I'm uh, I'm gonna save this guacamole problem till after the stream. Uh, so I'm good. I'm good to go. Let's do it. Game number one is on Death Aura. Benefit versus Coke. Um, Coke has played in the Cauldron before, but it's been a little while. I think they were in Melted Cheese when I first got involved yeah. with this. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, same with Rainforest, actually. Yeah. And then they both kind of went away and came back. But here we are, guys, on Death or LE for this Protoss versus Protoss match. In the top left-hand corner, our red Protoss player, it is Benefit. And in the bottom right from Team Gosu, the purple Protoss, Coke. I, I just have to say, after, you know, we had a lot of Zerg matches today, so I'm... Yeah. I, my heart is, is toasty warm knowing that we get to cast a Protoss versus Protoss. The dumbest oh. mirror matchup possible. Yeah, has a Zerg player. Mine's my heart's lukewarm, but uh, looking forward to these two players though. <laughs> nice. We'll take it. We'll take that Oops, enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am highly enthused. Uh, Benefit and I had a nail biter of a series uh, just the other day. Interested to see what strats they pull out here. Was that uh? What was that for? Uh, which one was it? Peekaboo? Tournament? Oh, okay. Oh man, Sam really? Spence went back into like disco. Uh, it's okay. Sam Spence. Really Sam, unpredictable. He's a legend. He is. I, I put this stuff on uh, when I'm like cleaning the house and stuff now too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a battle's about to start, but it's like me versus my laundry. <laughs> Probably a close match. <laughs> it's a hard battle. Yeah. <laughs> it really is tough. Real grudge match. Proxy pylon on the map for benefit. Right by these racks. I've seen a couple pro players do this. This is a great spot because uh, a default scouting path won't see it. And both players opening completely standard. Uh, Coke's Cybernex score just a touch behind benefits. Well, except for the Praxy in the middle of the map. That's not quite standard, but also sort of is. It's gonna be a robotics bay. 
submit if it wants to end this game. Yeah, two of the peskiest units in StarCraft II, the Adept. Shades across the map towards the Proxy Two. There are another gateway coming down. Hoke is getting two sentries after opening with two Stalkers. Stalkers so just... Go ahead. I was going to say, basically all of their gas investment has gone into sentries. Uh, yeah. Force fields don't stop Shades, and Adepts rip through sentries. Uh, so they need to buy a little bit of time. I forgot that force fields don't stop shades. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they don't. Uh, of course, sentry is a great utility uh, to have in general. Good for scouting, all that stuff. Uh, speaking of scouting, yeah, this uh, this uh, proxy still has not been found. Yeah, it looked like those stalkers were maybe heading that direction, but yeah, they, they were, were just stopping at the ramp. Yeah. Uh, Coke, though, you know, not missing a beat on uh, the shield battery blocks, keeping the Adepts out of the main. Doing uh, any real damage. I think they got one pro. Yeah. And now... Now Coke knows. The same Phoenix going right over the proxy location. The Immortal's out already. So the Natural's cancelled. Shield oh, battery's okay. coming up. Benefit needs is that warp prism. A little bit of supply here, I think. Might be looking at okay, now okay, he does start the pile on. Yeah, he's gonna need that. More gateways, too. The sentry is huge. If he can cut this army in half, preferably with the immortal out of range, and then fight the rest of it near these shield batteries, he wins. But he just needs to hold this ramp and not overextend down into it. Quickly taking down that gateway, though. Yeah, production cut in half. Wall. Yeah. yeah, and of course the depths will get free uh, free range now. Oh, there's a prism. Never mind what I said about those sentries. That prism changes everything. Army supplies are about even. This is this is close. I uh, like our benefits trying to kill these buildings around the edges. We have disruptors already. What? He has a disruptor already. Oh wow. This game barely start. Oh my god, he did. What a genius. Man. Benefit. And these adepts swinging around the back. Here comes their army up the, from the front door. Army getting split here a little bit. Shield battery does help against the adepts. Those uh, shots weren't stacked up. First disruptor nabs a sentry. There's another disruptor. Oh Ooh, my god! Oh man. GG. Not even. Yeah, there wasn't one. Alright, well then that and that was game number one. Yikes. So Ooh. All right, jump right into it. That was like, is Benefit like one of those guys who can like flex one peck at a time <laughs> and just like walks down, like walks, he's always like got his shirt off doing that thing. I don't know, because that was powerful. If he wasn't before, now he is. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, game two then. Why not? All right, let's do it. He says, what the fuck, I'm 15. <laughs> Ugh. Well. All right. <laughs> Doesn't uh, matter. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's go to Romanticide. <laughs> let's do it. In the top left, up one, one to zero in this best of three. Our red Protoss player bringing out the disruptor play last game. It's benefit. And in the bottom right hand corner, the 
Purple Protoss from Team Gosu, Coke. Not happy about that disruptor play. Fuming. Um, just getting some messages about round two. It does look like we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and send that message. Sweet. Will we see a cannon rush? No. How horribly disappointing. Okay. Although, uh, Hook definitely showing awareness that's a possibility. Uh, some decent can rush positions on this map. Hooking around with that probe, but satisfied that he's safe for now. And, uh, yeah, both players uh, basically mirroring each other's builds. Yeah, I'm not too surprised that Benefit would not proxy a second time. Unless he's about to with his probe, I think he's just scouting. But um, On the other hand, you know. uh, Coke is not. Uh, oh, this could yeah. Be some proxy, maybe a Oracle play? I say, you don't want to go to the well twice, but maybe it's Coke's turn. Right? Again, whoever, I mean, whoever is the most insanely aggressive tends to win these series. That has been the theme. All night, The aggression yeah. paying off over and over again. Even when we saw some good defense at first, like I, I thought Tagged was uh, handling that link flood. But... Yeah, yeah, Sames. Um, yeah, but just just unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be Let's a, a Coke it's gonna ahead. be a proxy Stargate up there at the twelve o'clock position. I like it. It's a good spot for it. Good map for it. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, Coke is opening Adepts this time, and Benefit getting Stalkers and Sentries. So, kind of a role reversal here. Uh, now it's Coke that's making the pesky Adepts try to distract his opponent while getting the uh, the threat in the back door, if you know what I'm saying, Volmer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess and the it... question here is, can Coke disguise this enough? Oh, he does drop the Nexus. Okay. Which, you know, he can afford it now. And Yeah. Why not? Uh, his whole his whole plan here with the adepts and the oracle is to keep uh, his opponent at home, anyways, right? Even despite having yeah. a weaker army. Although these adepts are just sort of chilling right now. Ooh, here comes the stalker. Oh no! Okay, it's not going to go all the way to the proxy. Ooh, the oracle's flying in right now. No shield battery. Being a scout on the Twilight Council. And more probes rallied under the Oracle. Good damage there. Benefit Seven absolutely probes. fearless. Again, the flexing. <laughs> Doesn't give a damn. Doesn't care. It's down eight workers. Second next is on the way. You know, I'd say you're probably the kind of guy who's like, you know, three buttons deep, one button. But not the, even you can go can go full benefit though. Right, right. I I'm not a three buttons deep though. It's either it's either no. open or all the way up. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's fair. Misread by me. Yeah. If I'm if I'm gonna wear a shirt with buttons on it. Right. Uh, right. I'm, right. I'm gonna button them. Yeah. So, two oracles now, still no battery. Sentries for defense. Actually, he could just target down these sentries and get so much, like, damage. Like, that's 300 gas right there. That's true. But yeah. I think something was happening on the other side that distracted him, maybe, during that attack? Maybe those, those hallucinations. Oh, it's hallucinated stalker scout. I've never seen that, actually. Benefit. <laughs> I've never seen that, my man. Yeah, round two of the Oracle's a little disappointing, but I mean, he, he already has a, a 10 worker advantage. Oh, swinging around to the natural. Yep, both players going in a charge now. 
More probes. Eating the laser beams. These oracles have 15 kills between the two of them. Staying alive. Okay, so what's the follow-up gonna be? We got an immortal about to pop. Yeah, both players going in a charge. Um, let's see. Coke wants to get the Twilight Council, and he's slapping down the gateways. So going in with the ground pound army. On the other side, Robo goes down. But uh, Benefit has the worker deficit now. He can't quite afford these gateways as fast. Yeah, and Coke's worker lead is actually uh, increasing here. Maybe just from macro or, or whatever, but. Benefit would, uh, yeah, definitely need to make something happen. I'll try to get a scout, at least get an idea of the tech. Again, okay, I wouldn't going... mind seeing these sentries just get targeted yeah. now, because they would, they would melt. There's still no shield battery. Doesn't give a frick. I'll just build more units. Total ghost. War prism on the way for benefit. Yeah, the the, the Templar archives is interesting. I was, you know, kind of I was wondering what the play here would be. You could try almost, to almost certainly just archons. Yeah. You would you would think uh, just to use it as like a gas sink, you know? Yeah. Uh, Benefit does have almost a thousand gas. Let me get one more scout now. Plus one is about to finish, and that's gonna really play a big part. Uh, Coke is gonna have just better trades. And Benefit is behind in you and just army supply, and he's sending a little bit of it across the map at the moment. Really hard to hold this. Imagine if he had uh, two disruptors, though. Yeah. Like last game, that would be. Well, let's see what happens. There's a shield battery here. Overcharge is off cooldown. There's just way too much here. His archon took all of the damage. These sentries not, yeah. not gonna do much. Yeah, and force fields don't matter because there's archons here. Yeah. Props to both of these players, this game went past the 8 minute mark. GG! GG. And the aggressor wins again. <laughs> so, we, so we just like alternate here, game 3, benefits turn to proxy. They both proxy and do the exact same they build to proxy. each other? That actually happened uh, when I was playing Benefit in game one. We both uh, were proxy roboing each other. It was so awkward. <laughs> I hope they both proxy robo <laughs> each other. Uh, let's, let's find just, out. Let's see what the hell happens. This is this was just played uh, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Hot and fresh out the oven. Yeah. We're all over it. As recently in time as they could be grabbed, they were. For you guys out there, tied up series, game three. In the bottom right, our red Protoss player, it's Benefit. And in the upper left hand corner, the purple Protoss player from Team Gosu, Coke. Why didn't we cast it live? You ask. I don't know, no, no particular reason. <laughs> we were, yeah, we were just <laughs> casting <laughs> replays instead. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> We just didn't know what's going on. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> how it goes. Can I get a cannon rush? Come on, Coke, bust out. No, all right. No cannon rushes. Or at least not yet. Benefit also still teamless. How is that even possible? So many people will poach around here. Well, I mean, you know, Team Legion with a uh, 
endless fountain of money in which to fund these tournaments. I know they they pay they pay you well, Volnox. And oh yeah. Myself, of course. Keep my pockets lined. Yep. Full of <laughs> D Dunkin' Donuts receipts. Oh yeah. Uh, the love letter to the girl who works at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm too shy to give it to her. These are the things yeah. Legion pays you in. <laughs> uh, so, mirror builds again from both players. Playing enough of these one day, I'll have the confidence. Yeah, as long as I keep playing in Legion tournaments. Right, as long as I just keep playing StarCraft. Yep, <laughs> with my friends and Team Legion. Um, then one day I will have the confidence. These skins are so different, it's all, it's jarring, these probes, <laughs> seeing them side by side. I like that Coke is kind of cloaked. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little tougher to maybe see in the corners, whereas Benefit is just beaming like a, like a sunbeam. So, all right. Stalker's out of Coke, Stalker's out of Benefit. Two sentries for both players. Exactly the same builds so far at three minutes into the game. Yeah, he likes these, these two sentries. It is a heavy gas play. Although it looks like, I guess that's, that's just standard in PvP. They're both doing that. Uh, I don't do that. I'll do three stalkers in one century. Uh, they both went for two centuries. Seems it's like an, a lot of gas. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of gas early on, but it does really help keep you yeah. safe in a way too. So, force fields are good. Hallucinations are good. Actually, all of it. Even guardian shield is good. And both getting, uh, yeah, Templar archives as well. Or excuse me, a Twilight Council on both sides. It's exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> do they both have a shield battery? They do! Wow. Are their walls exactly the same? No, the core is chucked in a little more on Benefit's side. <laughs> Even the pile on off to the side, they are ex exactly the same. Are they both going to get God. charged? They both get charged, and if Benefit slaps down a Forge. Or if uh, Coke slaps down a Forge. Okay, no, it's going to be Blink. The paths diverge at 420. Nice. See, I thought Zerg had the hive mind. But, no. Coke and Benefit tapping into the, like, the collective consciousness of Protoss, doing the exact same build for five minutes. Yep. And it's tapped into the great Printer of Ire. I feel like you don't see that much in PvP. Usually there's so much, you know, crazy shit going on. It's starting to split up now. Going for that third Nexus is a pretty big deal. Yeah, that's a big difference. Yeah, I think Benefit just wants plus one charge. It wants to slap down all of the gateways and run them over. I think that's the plan, but we'll see. Yeah, that's definitely uh, going to set up like the obvious timing. Both players also have the chance to go in the Dark Templars if they want to here. Looks like Benefit's going to opt for Templar Archives instead. Benefit, you know, good job scouting, so he knows. Um, pretty much knew that that third went down right when it happened. Both players sitting back. Sending out the hallucinations. Sentry's perhaps the most psychedelic unit in StarCraft. <laughs> yeah. They can straight up make you see things that aren't real. Yeah. And they can put up an invisible wall. Right. Yeah, you're you're blocked in. Yeah. With their minds. Is this, is this real life? Tell me I'm okay. Here's an invisible wall. 
<laughs> My heart is beating so fast, watch out. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. So Benefit moving out on the map charge is done. Blink is also done on the other side. Benefit has plus one. Folks is still a ways away. Blink stalkers versus charge lots is kind of interesting because, like, in a way, charge lots absolutely win, but in another way, blink stalkers can win if the blink micro is really good. And you just yeah. keep, you keep forcing charge lots to, like, change targets or, like, not get us around. So, this could be a little bit more micro intensive here uh, from Coke. Curious to see how it works out with, like, these Archons instead of Immortals here. It seemed like the obvious choice to me, but. Yeah, Archons uh, don't do amazing against uh, Stalkers, actually. Uh, they are amazing, of course, against Charge Lots. Yeah. But yeah, it's all Stalkers here for Coke. So let's see how this goes. He needs to get near this battery. He goes down quickly. Okay. He's starting to blink back Stalkers. He does have another battery at the natural if he can somehow pull the fight that direction. But Stalker's kind of flimsy. Yeah. Um. A little bit of this micro here, all but right. benefit. Yeah, he manages. Everything's all split up. He separated yeah. off some of the charge lots there. Managed to take a fight. Oh, but the archons are just destroying so many probes. He's gonna get this nexus for sure. Oh. Hook just leaves. Oof. Rhinus well, plus one finished on the stalkers too. <laughs> that's you know, flating way to end, but well played by benefit. Two one over Coke. GGs. Protoss wins. Love to see it. <laughs> well played, well played. Benefit gets the round one victory. I'm not sure that game was over, because Benefit didn't have a third base behind it. Yeah, I have a feeling Benefit could have marched in, but right, I mean... It's it, a shield it, battery know. and a cannon there. The DT was, option was, yeah. you know, you could, you could try for it. I mean, I, I don't know. Let's see what happened. Wait, what I miss, Benefit? I missed the main. Oh, he must have had a drop in the main at the same time. Uh, uh yeah, I didn't see that either. Whoops. Benefit 2 OP for us. Can't even keep up with the greatness. Yeah, we don't even know everything that's going on. And that yeah. genius is mine. It takes it serious 2 to 1. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. So, uh, is that it for? Uh, do we have more? Do we have more games, or is that it? Uh, I th I think that is everything, actually. Did we already do your game, Volnox? Oh yeah, yeah, we did. Uh yeah, yeah um, I think. Yeah, I think that is it, actually. I'm peeking yeah. at the bracket. I think that's. All right. Cool. Yeah, and we are net. We're into round two it's definitely safe to show it now if, if, if you uh wanted to but yeah round two starting right after this and hopefully we can cast some uh some of those next week awesome yeah yeah we definitely definitely will get back to cast these as they come in yeah and then what else what else is coming up uh saturday bi-weekly uh legion adamantum star league that's right. Um, let me, That's right. Yeah, let me drop an invite to that. It's a D1 bi-weekly. Um, anyone who's D1 or under, totally welcome to come play. And uh, here is the Discord invite. Amazing. All right, cool. Yeah, new thing we're doing. Hey, That's thanks it. for casting tonight, Flapjack. Oh, of course. Always appreciate it. A lot of fun tonight. A lot of quick series. Yeah, that was uh, really, really fast. Yeah. But uh, yeah, always a pleasure, man. And uh, I'll catch you at the next one. Sounds good. All right. Take it easy, man. Later, buddy. Later. All right, gang. So here's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna hook up the raid. I'm gonna find a way to eat this guacamole, and then I'm probably gonna come back and ladder. So, uh, yeah, if you want to hang out later, swing back through. Thanks for all the follows. Thanks, for everyone, for tuning in. And uh, I love you. 
Come back, join Team Legion, get involved in these tournaments. And I'll catch you guys later. Alright, peace. Yeah.